For almost all dancers, Michael Jackson has been a major source of inspiration. We are honored to have one of his longtime collaborators here today, Travis Payne, winner of four MTV Video Music Awards, three American Choreography Awards, two Emmy nominations, and countless other honors. He has created an incredible body of work for icons such as Sting, Faith Hill, Paula Abdul, Beyonce, and Lady Gaga. I am your host, Galen Hooks. Travis, thank you for being here. My pleasure. You seem to have great pride in what you do oh, yeah. as a choreographer. What oh, yeah. do you love about being a choreographer? Let's see. There's so many things I love about being a choreographer. You know, it's really the next evolution from being a dancer. You know, as a dancer, you're interpreting another artist's ideas. You know, as a choreographer, you not only do that, but have the ideas. And it's just really fulfilling, especially something that gets filmed, because that's forever. And it's afforded me many things. It's, it's allowed, um, you know, me to make a name for myself, you know, and be able to meet so many great people and have awesome experiences and travel and, you know, and influence and inspire the younger generations of performers, you know, who uh, many times tell me, I'm going to be a choreographer. And I'm like, yes, you are. That's <laughs> awesome. You know, but um, that's a good feeling. So when you were growing up, did you, did you see this in your future? Absolutely. I knew that I wanted to have a career in the arts. And from an early age, I watched everything I could, from Solid Gold to Wild World of Sports, anything that was sort of physical and artistic. And then, of course, dancing was really always my first love. And then really amplified when I first saw you know, Michael and his brothers, and then, of course, Janet, and, mm -hmm. you know, and Prince, and, you know, all of those all greats those around that time, Madonna, you uh -huh. know, so I was very influenced, you know, like all of us, you know, um, by those sort of dance icons. So legend has it that you sent in a homemade videotape for Janet? Um, like many of us, I was a super fan, you know, I slept outside for the tickets, went to the concerts, <laughs> you know, mm -hmm. just very into it, you know, I would get up in the morning, I would have to watch uh, Rhythm Nation, Miss You Much, and like Smooth Criminal before I go to school every day. And then I do the same thing when I got home. And uh, so I knew all of her material. And my dear friend and colleague at the time, Lavelle Smith Jr., was on tour with Janet already. And one of the dancers was leaving. So we went and rented a video camera and went into the racquetball court of the apartments we were living in. We filmed me doing every number and put together a VHS tape <laughs> and, uh, you know, handwritten on it. And uh, he gave it to her for me. Maybe about a week or so later, I was flying to Japan to meet the show and join them. And I actually met her after I did my first show. Um, we got there, everything was so quick. It was like, okay, put this on, put that on. This is where you stand. You know, it's just really quick. So we got on stage and I remember she was, had some kind of thing and it lowered her to the floor and then she arrived and I just remember we were supposed to be frozen and I was just sort of watching and trying to see her and, <laughs> and then you know we did that first show and then I met her. Janet really sort of gave me my sort of start on the world stage. What was the feeling like to know that typically you were in the audience and then all of a sudden you were on stage? Did you just pinch yourself every night or what? Oh yeah but see for me in you know going to see the bad tour in Atlanta is when it clicked for me. It's like, that's what I want to do. Mm -hmm. You know, th exactly that. It was comforting for me, um, you know, because I realized, you know, one of the dreams I've had. Um, so it was, it was great. And every experience was wonderful, mm -hmm. you know, but it was great. I mean, I, I loved all those years. So, you know, we've talked about Janet. We know how you got hooked up with Janet. How did you get hooked up with Michael? Well, after going to the audition for Dangerous and being cut, <laughs> after that, I went to another audition for Remember the Time. John Singleton was directing Fatima and her team were choreographing. And so I got hired for that. I was able to work closely with her, you know, kind of assist in a way because she and her team, you know, really went by feeling, you know, and Michael was the same way. So there weren't really consistent counts. And of course, the dancers being mixed up from different places, we sort of needed counts. So I was able to work with her and help count it out. After having gone through that process, Michael asked me to join his show. So really, it was timing because it happened just the way it was supposed to. When did you start choreographing for him? The very next year. Mm. The very next year. It was always Michael's uh, way to tell you when it was time to do something. He says, okay, it's now time to choreograph, you know, and we have a show coming up. I was like, okay, well, what is it? 
and it wound up being the American Music Awards in 1993, the first time we debuted Dangerous. So that was the beginning of that, and then it came time, he said, it's time for you to direct. So he helped me to realize a lot of things. He would give me videos of Bob Fosse and videos of Ben Vereen and, you know, people that he respected. You know, this is inspiration, this is reference. And so we did a lot of that, you know, a lot of sharing, you know, and, and he was really teaching me. So you worked on Scream, which is the most expensive music video ever made. Right. What was it like working on that? Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. It was the first time I'd worked with Janet and Michael together, and it was just great. You know, it was a full circle for my relationship with Janet. I was in the midst of my relationship with Michael, and it was just awesome. I mean, that experience was great. I think we did it on a Universal backlot, and there were like three or four sets we didn't even get to. What? Yeah, we didn't oh even get to gosh. them. Oh my gosh. Because we were so far over days and budgets and all that mm -hmm. stuff, you know? <laughs> the things that make the suits crazy, but mm -hmm. we just love it. So it was crazy, and I, I remember they were like 24-hour shifts um, because Janet liked to shoot during the day, Michael liked to shoot at night. And so we slept in trailers on the back lot you know, so that we were always on set, you know, so we would tag in and tag out, you know, so we could go to sleep or I'm gonna go take a quick shower and, you know, we have 15 minutes, but, you know, so it was, it was that crazy and it was awesome and it's still one of my favorite pieces. So you had this 24 hour shift mm -hmm. operation happening. How many days did you shoot? Uh, let's see. I think we filmed at least seven, maybe seven to 10 days. What? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think we filmed over a week, but it was always the way with Michael. I mean, you know, he wouldn't rush. Like, he would take time. He knew the importance of the process. You know, everything had to be the top of the line, everything, so that every artist on set felt comfortable. Mm -hmm. Like, you had exactly the monitoring cord you needed. He would make sure that that happened for you so you could do the best work for him. What was it like working on Ghosts? That's another big thing. Ghosts was one of the biggest undertakings of my career. It took four years to complete a major, it was a movie. Oh, and another thing, Michael Jackson never made a video. Short film. He would tell me, yeah. <laughs> He's like, I don't know why they say video. I never made a video. <laughs> Everything's on film. Everything but was literally shot on film? Everything. And that was like, okay, you know, it's not about a video and it's not about TV. It's about, you know, filmed art, you know, for as many people to see it and as experience as possible. You know, for instance, the This Is It concert series were supposed to be 50 shows over nine months, and that would have been however many people got to see it in the venue. But you multiply that exponentially when you think in terms of how many people have gotten to see the This Is It documentary. Mm -hmm. You know, so it's no consolation, but it certainly is a good thing that the messages and the music mm -hmm. and the ideas reached that many more people. And you also went to the Philippines for, for the Michael tribute there. What was that like? Yes. While we were um, creating This Is It, one of Michael's fans sent a link to the uh, dancing inmates from Cebu. Of course, I loved it. I showed it to him, and of course, he loved it. He got such a kick out of it. And so we watch it all the time you know, during rehearsal, just, you know, it was a little distraction, you know, a little comic relief. Once uh, Michael passed uh, and we were thinking of opportunities to promote the film and sort of to get out there and, you know, be with his fans and, you know, share time with them, um, one of the ideas I had was to go to that prison. went there and it was really life changing. You know, having gotten there and being welcomed by these like 2,300 inmates, you know, who were meant to be the dregs of their society. To get there and realize how important it was and how we were just as inspired as they were. Mm -hmm. And it was literally, you know, um, camaraderie. You know, that was unity. And so it was really so awesome, you know, and the message was there, you know, that the music and dance rehabilitate. And then, of course, for it to be so well received on YouTube and, you know, um, 
you know, it's, it's just a, it's a good moment. So you worked with Michael Jackson, who was the creator and revolutionary artist of his time. And now there are people like Lady Gaga, who mm -hmm. you have worked with, mm -hmm. who is also very into her craft. What's it like working with her? We had just completed, you know, the funeral services and memorial and all of that stuff for Michael. And I was on the way to Las Vegas and I uh, got a call and uh, it was um, one of Gaga's managers. And it's like, do you have a moment to talk to her? I was like, of course I do. Turns out we turned around and came right back to LA. Um, and went into rehearsals with her. But before that, when we were uh, putting together a short list of artists to invite to join Michael on stage for This Is It, you know, all the obvious choices were there, you know, Janet and Justin and Usher and Gladys Knight and Donna Ross and you know, everybody. <laughs> and I was like, is there anybody else? And he was like, yeah, Lady Gaga. I was like, really? Because it, it's, you know, I'd only ever seen the one video with the thing, Just Dance. I didn't know mm -hmm. her yet. He's like, she's cool. She's next. <laughs> he said, she's next. <laughs> And I said, really? And he said, yeah, she's cool. You got to get into her. I was like, okay. So I started to, you know, listen to her. And it just so happened as fate would have it, that was the first job we did after This Is It. And it was really sort of in really inspiring and <laughs> very cool. You've done these huge bodies of work. You've worked with the top people in the industry. So what is it about dance that you love? Dance, I think, really has been, um, you know, my sort of uh, uh, comfort zone. You know, I just have always felt safest there. I don't know if it's because you make a piece of choreography, it's thought out, you know, it's kind of like science, you know what the answers are, or if it's that it's like English, you know, and it's kind of free-flowing. I think it's kind of the best of both. And I've always appreciated that, you know, and I can sort of Take a deep breath when we get to the dance part. Well, thank you so much, Travis. Thank that you, was Gayla. amazing. It's so you. great getting to know you. Yes, and getting to know you. Thank you guys for watching. I'm sure you've got questions and comments. There was so much great information there. You can comment on this video, you can post your questions on Facebook and Twitter, and we will be sure to get back to you. And you can stay up to date with Travis and the rest of our top choreographers we have here, as well as all of us here at D Studio. Thank you for watching. See you next time. <laughs> Yay! Very cool.